So I spoke with some people that live here in Elberton, and they tell me that the Guidestones were a major attraction to this area. However, I've also been told that the perception is split because while some people may view it as demonic or satanic, others admired the craftsmanship and they loved the tourism aspect. And people tell me that it also represented the granite industry here. He had the designs and the specifications for what he wanted. Uh, he also had the funding to do it. According to the Elbert County Chamber, a man who went by the name R.C. Christian said he represented, quote, a small group of loyal Americans who believe in God. R.C. Christian wasn't his real name, and the group wished to remain anonymous, adding to the structure's mystique. Whenever you get somebody uh, that, that doesn't want to give their name, that wants to create something like this and uses a pseudonym, it fuels that, and people start speculating. R.C. Christian said the group wanted to leave messages for future generations. The astrological granite monoliths, known as America's Stonehenge, were inscribed with 10 guiding principles for humanity. With pieces of the monument. Unveiled back in 1980, as you can see from this video from our archives, they stood at just under 20 feet high with more than 4,000 individual letters, drawing a lot of controversy over the years related to religion and the Guidestones' intention. There was uh, eight languages uh, that were on each of the wings, and then there were languages on the top uh, capstone. According to the Elbert County Chamber, the messages on the stones highlighted topics such as how the nation should be run, humanity and social duties. In part, some in English read, maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature, guide reproduction wisely improving fitness and diversity, rule passion, faith, tradition, and all things with tempered reason, prize truth, beauty, love seeking harmony with the infinite. And just to reiterate, WIFF News 4 was here back in 1980 during the Guidestones dedication ceremony, and you can see that full piece on our website. Now, there was also said to be a time capsule on the grounds here. So I asked, and I was told that right now there is no word on when the county will dig that up. In Elberton, Rashad Williams, WIFF News 4.